Hello there. So I had designed this post for Instagram which had quite good feedback and some people were asking about how to create it so I thought to make a tutorial about how I designed it in Photoshop and what tools to use to create a similar kind of 3D effect. By the way this design was also featured by Adobe and if you'd like to check the designs I upload on Instagram consider following me, I will appreciate it. Anyway, let's move to the tutorial. So the image I will be using is this one and I got it from unsplash.com and it's free to download so I will leave a link on the description for it. So I opened it in Photoshop and what I need to do is to draw some letters based on the colors of the image. In order to do that I will need to make a new layer and take the mixer brush tool. I'm clicking hold on the brush and I'm taking the mixer brush tool. What the mixer brush tool does is to mix the color of the background with the color of the brush. So what I need to do first is to load the brush with some color. In order to do that I click and hold the option or alt key and I choose which part of the image I would like to use as a brush color. When I click you can see that I, it changed the color of the brush here. So I will take some darker colors from this area. I will make sure that the sample all layers is ticked and I will draw the letters. You can change the settings here so you can have better mix. For example, if I set the wet 5%, it will be like this. But if I set it to 100%, it will be like that. So you can see that it is more blended here. So now that I am satisfied with the amount of the mix, I will start drawing the letters. I will add a new layer for the next letter. So I can create easily some shadows here. And I will also add a new layer for the horizontal line. I can't have exactly the same result as I have on the Instagram post because that depends on many factors, like the exact spot that you loaded the brush or the settings of the mixer brush tool. So yeah, it's very difficult to achieve exactly the same effect twice. So now I would like to add some shadows to add some more depth and make it look more 3D. So I will start with T which is easier because I have different layers on it. I will create a new layer and I will make it a clipping mask by holding the option or alt key and click here when I see this down arrow. You can also make it by right clicking and go to create clipping mask. So I'm taking the brush tool, I click and hold, I'm choosing the brush tool. I right click, I choose a smooth brush, not very large. And I choose a color, a black color, very dark. In case you use a pen tablet as I do, you can go to add the pressure sensitivity related to opacity. So the more I push, the harder the brush will be, you can see here. If I press the pen a little bit, it's just a little bit of shadow. If I press it harder, it is totally black. Okay, now I see that the source of light is on this side, so I will try to make the shadows on that side. As long as I have the clipping mask, the shadow is only applied on the specific area. I will create a new layer and make it a new clipping mask for the lower part of the letter T. And I will add some shadows there as well. In the same way I will add a new clipping mask on the 
O and U layer. And I will add some shadows there. So imagine the shadows how they appear from the letter T to the letter U, if it was real. Okay, so here that the layers are connected and they're not a different layer, I will need to use the pen tool to create a path and make a selection so I can draw the shadow only on that part. I'm taking the pen tool, I'm creating the path. So with the pen selected, I right click, make selection, OK. Then I'm taking the brush and I start drawing the shadow here. With exactly the same technique, now we can add some highlights like signs on the edge of that side. So we're going to create a new layer, make it a clipping mask, in this case is on this part. I'm taking the brush tool by pressing the letter B on the keyboard, but this time we're going to select the white color. And we draw right at the edge of the letter. Again, the same with the other parts. If you accidentally draw somewhere that you don't need, you can just take the eraser tool and just erase that part. We can see that the letters don't really stand out, so we can put some shadow on the background to add some contrast. We can do that by creating a new layer behind the letters but in front of the background. And with the brush tool we can create some shadows like we did earlier on the letters, but of course with the black color. Now we can make it more interesting by adding some elements of the background, like this part, in front of the letters, so we can give even more depth in the picture. So we're going to the background, we're taking the lasso tool, I select this object, I right click and layer via copy. I'm putting it in front of everything. I'm taking the selection tool and I click and hold to bring it somewhere in the front. I will put it somewhere in here, so I'm clicking Command T to enter the free transform mode. I rotate it click enter and now I'm going to isolate the object from the background. There are several ways to do that, but I will only use the eraser tool. So I'm taking the eraser tool and I'm start removing the background. This process is much easier if you're using a pen tablet.
okay now we can add some more color so i'm creating a new clipping mask i'm taking the eyedropper tool and i will choose some darker colors from the background Now on the clipping mask that I have added these extra colors, I will change the color mode to vivid light. And now it would look more real if it had a shadow on the letter U. So I'm going to this layer, I will add a new clipping mask and I will draw a shadow. As you see I moved the object here as I believe it much better. But I would like to hide the part of it so I will add the mask. I will take the brush tool, this time with a harder brush. I will turn off the pressure sensitivity and I will draw the part that I would like to erase. Now I would like to duplicate the object layer with the shadows because I would like to add another one smaller Now another thing I would like to do is to make the background less prominent. So I will duplicate the background and I would like to make it blurry. But first I would like to convert it into a smart object. So I right click and I select convert smart object. This will allow me to have some control on the blur. So I go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. So I set the radius to 36, I click OK and now on this mask you can see here, I will select some parts to make them visible as they were before. So I'm taking the brush tool with a black brush Okay, now I would like to add some extra saturation, so I'm going to add an adjustment layer by clicking the adjustments and the hue and saturation. I can also change the color to whatever I like, but I will keep it quite the same. Then I will add another adjustment layer, the curves, to give some contrast. And finally, I would like to add some extra highlights on the letters. So I will create a new layer. I will take the pen tool and I will add some signs by creating a path which follows the shape of the letter. And I will add the stroke to the path. But because the stroke will be based on the brush tool, we need to take the brush tool, right click Make the size very small, change it to a harder brush, change the color to white, turn off the opacity pressure. So I'm taking again the pen tool, I right click, stroke path, it is based on the brush, ok. Now I delete the path by clicking the delete key. I will add more lines like this. Now I will convert this layer into a smart object by right click and convert to smart object and I would add a Gaussian blur, so filter, blur, Gaussian blur. 
I will add some more signs. So that's pretty much it. I know that the effect looks a bit different than the Instagram post, but that's because I use different brushes, different signs and different colors, but the technique remains the same. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, until next time, like, share and subscribe. See you on the next one.